So Stability AI just released the SDXL 1.0 and it's coming up with a lot of improvements and the amount of quality it's producing right now is just insane that we have never ever seen before from any open source AI image model. So first of all we're gonna look at the number of improvements that they have made and then we will access this tool and try this tool on our own. So announcing SDXL 1.0, the Stability AI team is proud to release an open model SDXL 1.0, the next iteration in the evolution of text to image generation and they are also claiming that the new version of SDXL has been improved to the world's best open source AI image model right now and I totally agree with that because I have already tried this model. Uh, so if we scroll down a little bit, so this is the best image model from Stability AI uh, so far and this is the graph. SDXL is a flagship image model from Stability AI and best open source image generation model. We have tested this again a various other models and people prefer images generated by SDXL 1.0 and this is the graph where they are showing uh, the comparison between Stable Diffusion models. First of all we can see Stable Diffusion 2.1, uh, Stable Diffusion 1.5 then we can see a massive change in SDXL 0.9 that was also a really good model and now we have SDXL 1.0 and this is the difference between their base model and the refined model. We scroll down a little bit. SDXL generate images from high quality in the virtual reality and is the best open source model for photorealism. And uh, it is really getting more and more realistic. And you can see in this example images that they have shared. And you can see this is getting better with the hands and better with the legs and human faces where you can see a woman chasing a dog. And this is a really good image. In addition, SDXL can generate concept art are notoriously difficult for image model such as hands and text. It means it's also getting better with the hands and text. Well, SDXL 0.9 was also uh, better at hands, uh, but this is much more better than uh, SDXL 0.9. So these are few example images that they have shared. SDXL require only a few words to create complex detail and are aesthetically pleasing images. So right now we don't have to uh, type the longer prompts. So now it's getting more intelligent and better. So you can also use uh, shorter prompts to get these kind of amazing images out of it. And it's also getting better to differentiate between the words. SDXL can understand the difference between concept like the red square, a famous place versus a red square, a shape. It means now it can understand your prompts better and it can also differentiate between the place and uh, the word square that they have shared in this example. You can see SDXL is one of the largest parameter counts of any open source model using a 3.5 billion parameters for the base model and 6.6 .6 billion parameters for the refiner model. And this is also uh, getting better with the fine tuning and control. And this is the example uh, where you can see this is a simple image of a shoe and now uh, it is generated landscape of a mountain uh, just based on uh, this shoe and you can see and this landscape is also looking like a shoes. So there are a couple of ways to use this model. So get started with SDXL. There are several ways to get started with SDXL 1.1. SDXL 1.0 is live on ClipDrop. So you can use this A model in uh, ClipDrop from Stability AI. So these are a couple of the platforms and these are a couple of ways how you can use SDXL 1.0. And you can also use this model in the Dream Studio. So we're gonna try out this model. So if we go to the clip drop by Stability AI, you can see SDXL 1.0. So if you already used uh, SDXL 0.9 in uh, clip drop by Stability AI, you may be familiar with this interface. And now you can see we have few more options. Uh, so if I click on that, you can see we have few more styles uh, like digital art, comic book, no style, anime, photographic, analog, bunch of different styles. And now we can also change the aspect ratio and now you can also add the negative prompt in it let's say i'm gonna try a photo of a woman and i'm gonna select no style and i'm gonna select the aspect ratio to landscape and uh, let's say i'm gonna type a negative prompt extra legs extra hands ugly face so let's see what it comes up with okay so these are the images that it came up with and uh, look at this uh, so if I open uh, this image, you can see this is the first image and look at the realism in this image. So this is looking like a real photograph and look at the skin texture. So I think they made a massive improvement in terms of skin texture. Previously it wasn't able to generate this kind of skin texture. So this is the next image where you can see. So this is the better example where you can understand 
how realistic this image is. And look at the skin texture. I, and I think the best way to test any AI image model is to test their photorealism because every free AI image generator or any paid image generator can produce fairly good images of a concept art or like cartoon images and anything else. But whenever we talk about photorealism, every image generator lacks in it. And I think this could be the biggest competitor for Mid Journey. Uh, because this is producing so much real images uh, and look at the skin texture so i think this is already achieving the level of photorealism so we're gonna look at some few more examples now i'm gonna generate a photo of a mountain and uh, i'm gonna select the aspect ratio of 21.9 which is a very wide image uh, so let's see what it comes up with Okay, so these are the output images that I generated and look at this, how wide this picture is. And look at this, uh, and look at the results, how realistic it is. Look at the reflection in the water, look at the realism, this is so real, man. And these are a few more examples. So this is the second image and this is the third image. I think this one is also looking more realistic. And look at this, uh, we can see a series of mountain and we can also see the same reflection in the water. And the... Uh, this is really getting better. So there is no funkiness going on with the uh, reflection in the water. This is already looking spot on. So now we're gonna try hands and text and uh, let's see. Okay, so these are the results. Uh, so I give it a prompt uh, to generate hands, human hands and look at this. Uh, so this is the first image and this is the second image. I think this is looking better in all of them. Uh, but still there are some extra fingers in it where you can see uh, the left hand is the right hand is looking good but uh, you can see there are six fingers in this hand so these are few more results from this so i think this is still struggling with the hands but uh, if we talk about the re uh, other photos like human faces and everything it's working better so we're gonna try out the text so we're gonna see how does it perform with the text okay so then i tap the text office and you can see these are the results from it uh, I think this is the first one where you can see the spelling mistake in it and then we have I don't know what's going on with this picture and then we have this image where you can see it's still uh, struggling with the spellings and text but otherwise I think this is uh, this model is really good model if we talk about the, the photorealism images and the human faces skin textures this is uh, this is really improved model and uh, I think this is the better the best open source image model right now and this could be the competitor of mid journey so uh, that's it from this video and if you guys uh, find this video helpful give it a thumbs up and if you guys in a space of ai make sure to subscribe planet ai and i'll see you in the next one